Well, good morning, and welcome back to another day with Nacho Stuff. We uh, stopped by the TV guy this morning. He had texted me yesterday and said he had some TVs for me. And because we had such a great day yesterday, I didn't feel like going out and doing it. And I was just rolling the dice that they'd still be there today. And they were. So I lucked out. I uh, want to put my thoughts and prayers out to the people from Michigan State. I am an alumni of Michigan State. These mass shootings are getting uh, kind of ridiculous. But uh, hopefully they uh, get this all sorted out and... Uh, what a mess. On a lighter note, who still has their tree up? I do. <laughs> All of our decorations are down, but I have not dug out the bag to put the Christmas tree in, so it's still sitting there. My mother-in-law says to me the other day, are you gonna take the tree down? I'm like, I think we're gonna turn it into a holiday bush and we'll just decorate it each season. That way we don't have to take it down. Tell me you think that's a good thought or not. We could put hearts on it for Valentine's Day. Oh, by the way, happy Valentine's Day, everybody. And then we could put St. Patrick's Day stuff on there. And then we could put Fourth of July stuff on there. And then don't gotta worry about putting it away. I think it's a brilliant idea. Just the holiday bush right there in the corner of the living room. I don't know. Let's uh, get after it. We had an amazing day yesterday. I'm not sure that uh, we're gonna be able to repeat that. And if we can, I'll be one happy guy. But uh, we're gonna get out and about and see if uh, we can find ourselves some junks. And uh, let's see what the streets have to offer us today. It's rather brisk out this morning again and my trailer's making all kind of weird noises that it doesn't normally make because it's so cold. I don't have the screws for that one. It only takes four screws though. I might be able to use a, ooh, this guy's heavy. I might be able to use a, star bit what do you think guys let's see if we can get it to work i'd like to take all of it if i can because you just never know what the day has to offer right let's see take this take this i know i don't have that bit but i think we can make one work what do you think uh let's try this one it's too big right yes too big come on let's try this one The only thing I hate about these bits is they don't have the little bracket to hold them in the, the impact driver. So I always want to fall, fall out. I don't know why. They couldn't just have both of them. Yeah. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, you go back in here. So we don't use you. Go back in there. You go back in there. You guys all go back in there. And away we go! <laughs> See, I bounce when I bounce. All right, I'm not gonna click out because we're gonna come right up here and grab a little bit more metals. <laughs> this is a non-portable chair next to our regular chair. Yep, I find so many non-portable chairs. I wish we were able to recycle them. We probably could take them to that, uh, what's it called? The cement recycling, they could probably recycle those non-portable chairs. But I ain't doing that. <laughs> I think it is tire purge day. I've seen tires every place, look at Got tires here. None of them have rims on them. Not even steel ones. This one's got a little baby steel one on it. It's the first one that I've seen that's got even a, any kind of rim on it. Oh, look at all this stuff. And it's all just garbage. Come on, man. Where the metal's at? There was a TV here. Whoop. Stainless steel. Food in you? Yeah, you got rice in you. I don't want the rice. Yeah, 
I cut it. I'm not taking that race. We'll take the stainless steel though. And a little bit of aluminum. Consolation prize. Man, that's a big pile. And not a whole lot of stuffs. Zoink. Yeah, we're not in a gated community anymore. <laughs> Pretty sparse out here today, kids. Ah, my glove. Hey, hear that nature? Got some squirrels running about. Got the birds chirping. That's about it. <laughs> there ain't no scrap out here today. <laughs> so we're just going to enjoy the day. <laughs> More than made up from uh, yesterday. Yesterday was a twofer. Oh. I don't know. Maybe we'll find that honey hole before the end of the day. Only time will tell. Curiosity killed the mat. I mean cat. <laughs> oh, you're just empty boxes. Oh, it's slippery here in these leaves. You guys need to do some raking. <laughs> now this to the average person looks like a garbage box right to me it looks like opportunity got in here come on man open up tell me what you got in here yeah opportunity Open up from this side. Oosh! Hiya! Look at that. The hidden speed cheater. The hidden speed cheater. Shink! <clears throat> Not what I was hoping for, but this particular guy has thrown out some really nice stuff in just random boxes like that. Ugh. So I was hoping it was going to be something cool like that, but we'll take a Fijator. Come back here. Oosh. You guys go back in the box. All right, let's go one almost escaped me. You got a propped up here against a tree. Ain't nobody gonna want me to see this up here. Ugh. I wonder if there's more to it. Not much. But it's just scrap. I think this is just a bag. I was kind of hoping there's gonna be golf clubs in here. That was wishful thinking though. Are they nice bags at least? That's a gator bag. Not in the best shape though. Actually he's not in bad shape. Uh we got here. I don't know. We'll give him a try. Maybe uh maybe we can take these to play it against sports and get a dollar for him. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure this isn't gonna be metal. It's gonna be big and hopefully it doesn't have junk in it. Looks like it has a Christmas tree in it. Oh my gosh, you're heavy. Oh, so, yeah, there's a Christmas tree in here. <laughs> That's funny. See how far I'm at, how far I went past it? Because I thought it was going to be wood. I thought it was wood. It's going to be chunky. Best piece of metal we found yet today. Hey, come on. My gate got up split in it again. My trailer's falling apart. Metal lateral filing cabinet from 2016. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, we drove way too far past this. Metals. Oosh. Those are cute, are they not? <laughs> got ourselves some vintage electronics. What we got? What we got? What we got? We got that, <laughs> we got that dog. I don't know thing. We got a. JBC tape deck. Um, we're gonna take a look at this first, right? Before we hug it. Oh, look, there's still the massager back there that we didn't take out. And what is this one? Ooh, what are you? Unkyo. Probably a tuner. Uh, yep, receiver. <clears throat> we'll have to give those a try. Look them up. Might be metal. Yes, it's gonna be metal. Sweet. The day of the filing cabinets. Hey. Right. This is that same house last week you guys were like, oh, I would have totally kept that. This is like the matching piece. Jeff said he wanted that, so we'll give this one to Jeff, I guess, today. Because <laughs> it's art! <clears throat> yeah. Let's go. I was hoping this would be a gaggle of TV sets, but it's going to be a old desk. A wood one. We'll take the hood. And, uh, shampoo. Look how short the quarter is on that guy. A little baby cord for this big old fat shampooer. All right, you guys. Far cry from yesterday, but uh, hey, what can you do? Sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. That's all right. We're gonna. Oh, this, we still had fun today. The weather's been just amazing. I'm gonna give that to Jeffy. I'm pretty sure he wanted the one that I had last time. It was the kind of match to this one. And look at this. I didn't realize this when I first got it. When I got home, $99.99. That's a hundred dollar sign right there. Who paid a hundred dollars for that? What? That's crazy. I looked up these stereos. Neither of them were worth anything. Or actually, if you look on, on eBay, they're worth millions. Well, not millions. But uh, they're worth like a hundred bucks. Where people have them, people have them listed for a hundred dollars. Only nobody sold one of them and only one of the other kind has sold in the last uh, 90 days. So I, I ain't gonna do that. So we're going to uh, donate them to the scrapyard. <clears throat> I'm 
glad I took that table. There was just nothing out there today. It's crazy how much we found yesterday and how little we found today. This is a heavy little table right here. Oh, shit. I'm not going to have much for Jeff. I'm going to have to seal the unit, I think, from the refrigerator. That's it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're faster than me, lizard. Now you're living in a scrapyard. I tried this foot thing, it doesn't work. <laughs> what else did I try from yesterday? Uh, I tried something else from yesterday, too. Uh, I might have to move. We'll see if you can squeeze by or not. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, he's got it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Whoa! I'm going right to the crack. Oosh! That's a thin TV. Start weight to see how bad today was. Oh well. Mm. Oh, I forgot to bring that thing. I did have that truck cover at the house that I hooked over the fence. I meant to bring that. Dang it. Oh well. break down this microwave and then we're gonna get over Jeffy's. I'll see you over Jeffrey's. Let's do some NFJ! Hey, hey. <laughs> Bring it! I only have a sealed unit, but I wanted to give you that thing you were talking about in the video the one day. And then I gotta go get my rats. It was the same house. It's just a different, it's like a, it's slightly different. This thing is a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks from Kirkland. It's missing too. What do you mean? Now, now it's not because there's nothing. No, that's just the design, dude. Yeah. This one's slightly different than the other one. It's, it's actually a little bit bigger, I think. I think so. I think my girl liked that. Yeah, that's it. Just a sealed unit today. I'm gonna bust these guys apart. Oh, uh, that's a motor in there, right? Jeffy, am I gonna have a copper motor in there, or is that gonna just gonna? Or should I just do that as a motor? That's not going to be chunky. It feels pretty light. You want to see if my shear will chop into it? Well, you're going to lose the aluminum if you do that. Just turn it as a motor, I guess. I didn't realize it was that light. Yeah, I think that would be aluminum because if you look on this side here, uh -huh. see how that's yellow? Oh, yeah. It probably is going to be aluminum then. Yeah. All right. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hack that one apart. I think so. That's it, my friend. Is there? I've got so many good ones at the house still. I gotta break apart. Look what we got in here. Look at that. Oh, that one's pretty chunky, huh? Yeah. That was like seventy or eighty pounds, I think, or something like that. It, it was heavy. Yeah, but it's it's just, it's not like this one. These ones are like super heavy on the outside. These are usually the good ones. The older ones yeah. with the cast iron on the outside. Yeah, but they're super heavy with the yeah, cast man. iron on the outside. Yeah. Like the one that you gave me, it was like 100 pounds and 80 of it was the cast. Yeah. 
But then you had 20 pounds of copper. I don't know that I had 20 pounds of copper. I'm still working on it. I think it's going to be 14. You're still working on it? Yeah, I'm still working on it. You got to have time to start a fire. <laughs> at night? At night? I was at the baseball field till 10 o'clock last night. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then you stayed up how long did you do your, your videos? Like, last, night, I, I, last night I went home and went to bed. I was exhausted. So you, I did my video before baseball. Oh. Like I try to go, like, like now I'll pick up the kids. I'll try to get my video edited before. Tonight I don't have anything, so it's no rush. Normally I go home and I try to get it edited before I have to do, start doing the evening things. Sometimes I make it, sometimes I don't. That ain't bad. Too bad it's gonna make a right. Nah. <laughs> All right, brother, tomorrow. All righty, guys, we're waiting paid. Today's kind of stanky. But hey, we killed it yesterday, so we made we made more up for it. I did go run home um, after I, because I was trying to find more stuff, and so I ran home to have lunch. I didn't, and then I did some organizing. I didn't throw anything new into the trailer. So what we did today is what we did today. I could have thrown more in there, but I was like, no, let's see how uh, stanky today was. So let's jump into this little baby receipt. 10, 800 pounds. I'm surprised. I, I My guess was 680 because I saw Kevin at the yard. He asked me what I thought I had. I said, I'll say 680. So I was off by a little over hundred pounds, but uh, 800 pounds, six cents a pound for 48 bucks. We had the sealed unit out of the refrigerator, 17 pounds, 13 cents a pound for 221. And electric motor was that one motor um, that I was talking with Jeff about. I have been trying to strip them down. I couldn't get the electric motor out of the microwave because it was completely different than any microwave I've ever seen. It didn't have the normal transformer in it. It had like something else in there that was, I'm sure it's a transformer, but not the block that you normally find in there. It was an older microwave. So I was like, I ain't messing with that. So I just hocked it. Um, and plus we have like, I don't know, something stupid like 25 uh, uh, magnetrons at the home. We still need to break apart. So I really wasn't worried about getting that out of there. So I just let that microwave go. Um, so the electric motor was uh, 21 pounds, 15 cents a pound for over 315 for a grand total today at 53.36. Womp, womp, womp. That's okay though. We, uh, I did, uh, like I said, start to get backyard organized a little bit. Um, we have six washers and dryers back there. We need to get him to pick those up. That's like a running day in itself. Uh, so we need to uh, get that taken care of uh, sooner versus later. We'll uh, see uh, how the rest of the week plays out. We've had a, an amazing day, a kind of stanky day. So we just need to uh, even things out here someplace. So uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to smash the thumbs up. Please consider subscribing if you're not already a subscriber. And it's not your stuff, but that doesn't mean you can't take someone else's trash and turn it into cash. So until tomorrow, be safe, be happy, and I'll catch y'all then.